Hey guys, Techie 101 here. So, do you remember back when Goku first went into Super Saiyan God form, uh, back in the Battle of Gods movie, and everyone was like, <gasps> and then you were like, whoa, and then I was like, Yee! yeah, good times. Um, I, I remember watching that scene, I remember when Battle of Gods came out, and I saw it in the theater, and I was like, you know what, this is pretty damn cool, we're restarting the franchise, we're having this new form that Goku's got, and it looks actually different from his other, you know, Super Saiyan forms, you know, for so long we just had, like, you know, golden spikes and crazier and crazier hair, but this is different, you know, his form is actually making him look a little bit more leaner, and his uh, hair itself doesn't actually change shape, it's just the color and the aura changes, and it's red, and you think just a simple palette change wouldn't mean a lot, but it meant a lot to me, and so that's why whenever, you know, well, okay, this is what we're doing, Super Saiyan God from now on out, and then we get the sequel to Battle of Gods, we get Resurrection of F, um, and you can understand that I was a little bit disheartened when the Super Saiyan God form appears exactly, uh, zero times times in Resurrection of F. Instead, we get the thankfully renamed Super Saiyan God Blue, originally known as Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, also known as SSGSS, also known as SSJG SSJ, I mean G, whatever, or J, whatever, doesn't matter. The point is, it's blue now, and once again, another palette change, although this time it's combining the Super Saiyan transformation with the God power-up, creating this whole new level of power, the ultimate form, referred to as by Vegeta, and a Super Saiyan with blue hair dye, referred to as uh, by Frieza, <laughs> but it became it became very obvious uh, that later on in Dragon Ball Super, when the forms were actually, you know, expanded upon beyond just those two movie arcs, we get to a point in the story where Super Saiyan God Blue is now, for the most part, more or less, the um, default form that the, you know, characters will go into whenever they're going to fight a serious opponent. Now, a lot of times Goku will usually go to the regular Super Saiyan transformation first, but if that doesn't cut it, there's usually no transition. He doesn't go Super Saiyan 2 or 3 or or the base god form, he just jumps right to blue. Now, there is a reason for this. Super Saiyan God Blue has way better key control than any of the other former transformations, even better than Super Saiyan God. I would question exactly why there's better key control when you amp it up to Super Saiyan in Super Saiyan God, considering that when you go into normal Super Saiyan form, there's some problems with key control already, but whatever, it's fine. The, the point is that Super Saiyan God Blue is much more, um, much more useful in that respect. It requires a calm mind and a lot of intense training, and you can't maintain it that long, so it's not indefinite, but the point is, is key control, which is something that a lot of the other transformations lacked. So then we're going to talk about going beyond the blue transformation transformation and what exactly that would entail um, and obviously what would it look like you know what would the form actually take the appearance of but also you got to think like what powers would it exhibit considering that Super Saiyan Blue as I said is the mastery of key control which was lacking in the former transformations you know where could you possibly go from there having even greater key control you know like there's only so many things you can mess with this here but I have one idea with this this post blue transformation and it would go along something like this it doesn't have better key control in fact it's a transformation actually remarkably similar to Super Saiyan 3. Super Saiyan 3 has a lot of battle power, but you can't stay in it for very long. So this new transformation they would have would be something similar. They can only use it temporarily. And I'm not talking about shit like, um, you know, oh, I can only maintain this form for a little while, because apparently blue is like that too, but they stay in blue for a long time. I'm talking like, you can only stay in this, like, this uh, next level transformation for only like a few seconds. Get off like one attack or maybe a few seconds excessive hits or whatever, and then you gotta power down because it could actually be a major detriment to you. That's another thing that you really have to look at. Goku and Vegeta are still mortals, okay? They're not they're not gods. They can utilize godly key, but they're still mortals. You'd think just naturally there'd be a cap here. There'd be a level where they could possibly get to, but it's gonna start causing them serious problems with their mortal bodies. So that's what I could think, like this Super Sa you could call it whatever the fuck you want, by the way. Super Saiyan God 3, Super Saiyan... Yeah, well, okay, let's look through the color spectrum and let's see what we have here. Okay, well, we can't use yellow, we can't use red, and we can't use blue. Um, Black Goku utilized Super Saiyan uh, God Rose, which, by the way, the reason Rose, that was a thing, it was because Zamas was already a god when he went into it. So if you already have the god status and then achieve Super Saiyan God, you're just naturally going to have the, the pinkish color. So we can't use that. Uh, when Black Goku and Zamas fused together, they made this perfect godly being, and that had a white hair, so 
there you go, you're Super Saiyan White. Although, considering that was like this really, you know, supposed to be this ultimate godly being, you'd figure that it could be conceivable that if you did go to a level beyond blue, having white hair would just be the natural connection there. You know, if Goku went into a level beyond blue and he had white hair, we'd all be like, oh, like that time Zamos fused with Black Goku and got super powerful. Okay, that makes sense. But if we want to just disregard white, that, you know, okay. Well, green, we could still use green. Oh, wait, no, Brawly used that. No, no, it doesn't matter. Brawly wasn't canon. Oh, wait, shit, he is. Okay, um, uh, that doesn't leave us with a lot of options. Um, orange, yeah, Super Saiyan God Orange, or Super Saiyan God Purple. That's pretty much, pretty much all we got going on here, but colors aside, that's not really the point here. Not, it's not like anyone watches Dragon Ball Z just to see what new color they're gonna transform into. <laughs> I hope. Um, Another way you could take it, and I don't know how I feel about this. Well, what do you? Okay, before I continue this theory, I have to ask you guys: How do you feel about Goku or Vegeta actually becoming legitimate gods? You know, like an like a legitimate god of destruction, or at least on the level of of those characters. Um, I know there's a lot of theories out there, people wondering whether or not that's going to happen or some such like that. Um, I don't know how I feel about it, but as I said, utilizing godly key and actually being a god are two separate things. But that, you know, I'm not left with a lot of options here, so a next transformation beyond blue, you know, that could actually physically transform them into gods. You know, and they could be on, like, uh, the God of Destruction level. You know, once again, it could just maybe be a temporary thing, but actually transforming them into gods would be a whole new, a whole new level. You know, and, and uh... I, 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 I don't know how I feel about that, because, you know, you consider Goku's, like, I look at the story from the beginning, when Goku first started off in this, like, the, the humble beginnings as a little child, you know, and learning how to fight, and, and then this story ending with him literally becoming, a, like, a, an all-powerful deity, like a god of destruction, I just... I, don't, I have mixed feelings about that. I don't like that concept very much, but that could be another potentiality, going into that level, and then having the white hair would actually make sense in that form. Like, oh, he's a legitimate... He's not just having godly key. He's not just playing around with the godly game. He actually is a god now, and he's got white hair. That makes sense. I had one more theory about this, and this is actually kind of like the opposite of what I said earlier about taking away the temporary aspect and actually doing something a lot more similar to when Goku reached his uh, fully controlled Super Saiyan form. Remember that? Remember when Goku was, you know, training to fight Cell with Gohan, and instead of bulking up like Vegeta did, they decided just to maintain the original base Super Saiyan form all the time. And so that now they could do something like that with Blue, you know, so taking away the temporary aspects, not not really getting a, a major power up or anything, just being able to stay in the form longer. And you could just throw in a palette change like, okay, we'll make it purple now, just to make it something different so we can market to people in the merchandise department. Um, but it, it, in essence, it wouldn't be necessarily stronger in terms of power output or better key control. It would just be like they could stay in it longer. And that's pretty much it. Because as we are right now, the only way that we can push beyond blue is Goku going into Kaioken, which has its own, you know, detriments there. You know, and, and I mean, it's pretty cool adding the red and blue aesthetic onto each other. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you think there's something new here? I remember also when Super Saiyan Blue was first revealed, like, there's multiple god forms. People thought it was just going to be like, oh, okay. So now we're going to have the next form is going to be like Super Saiyan 3 with the super long hair that's going to be colored green or something and yeah, that's just what we're going for yeah fuck it just get the whole color spectrum in on this why not at this point right uh, but yeah i just wanted to talk about some theories about going beyond blue and uh, what that could entail perhaps in the tournament of power perhaps beyond that i don't know how su how long super is going to go was it ever really specified, you know, how long they wanted Super, like, the anime to continue on, or the manga, or is it just like, well, it's the case-by-case -case basis, as long as the fans are still interested, we're gonna keep doing it. Um, but yeah, just wanna make a quick video about that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And oh, uh, I have a Discord now. I'm um, still trying to figure out how that all works, but I just got it like a few days ago. So there's a link below in the description if you want to go join the teching Discord. Uh, I think we got shit locked down. I think for the most part. I think we have stuff worked out. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll we'll find out soon enough, right? But yeah, link below for that. Thanks you guys for watching. This will be Teching 101 signing out. Love y'all.